as ever. Man's 80 years old. Unbelievable to watch him. He took some lick in a practice uh, earlier, but did bounce right back. And here's Tony Hunt not getting anywhere. Lisa, let's find out more now about uh, the Tony Lloyd Hunt, Carr. Custody. A judge yesterday ordered him to undergo a psychiatric evaluation. I talked to Coach Carr about it. Just a sec, Lisa. Go ahead and continue, kiddo. I talked to. This Coach is Carr. difficult to buy enough time uh, to get 19 yards downfield. This is tough. Goes for it and oh, got it. Oh, oh, man. man alive, Williams at the 39. Morelli took a lick, and he's on the ground. And big number 80, Allen Branch. You're going to see big Allen Branch at 325 pounds apply the pressure. They line him up at nose guard. He comes around on a twist stunt. Wow. He Tell took you. the full force of that. I can tell you firsthand that's 330 pounds in momentum landing. That's a whiplash back to the back down onto the field. Derek Williams with a great catch and a good throw by Morelli. But when you have a defensive lineman that closes in full speed, lowers his shoulder and has all his weight come down on top no, of you, that's that's, that's, that's that, tough. That's got to be a penalty, isn't it? Like Let's take, take a look at it again. Is it, you talking about helmet to helmet? Just a real time. You know, I, I, I think once the ball's released, you got to ease up and let your arms up. I mean, the NFL, what, I you disagree. don't agree with I'm, me. I'm, I'm, a, quarter, I'm no. a quarterback and I disagree. That's, I mean, it's unfortunate, but I... Yeah. I mean, just the hit, it was the whiplash back to the turf, the back of his helmet. Now, Daryl Clark, excuse me, now, Daryl Clark has got to come in for at least one play, remember, because there was medical attention on the field. He is a freshman from Youngstown, Ohio. And secure the snap right here from center. And around Williams. And ready was Burgess. Are you kidding me? Prescott Burgess has been waiting for that play all night. So good as a board. Second down. Clark keeps himself. And uh, look at the medical attention over there from Raleigh. Taking a big lead, uh, I would think, in the Heisman Trophy race. Unfortunately, Adrian Peterson out for the season with that broken collarbone for Oklahoma. And uh, there's an incomplete pass as Williams cannot hang on to it. And Harrison, number 27, is over there defensively. As they boot us out of the hotel. Guys. There goes the budget. And meanwhile, there goes another quarterback down to the ground for the Nittany Lions. Daryl Clark was uh, thrown to the ground, and this time there is a flag. After the runner was down, dead ball, personal foul, late hit. 15 yards from the succeeding spot with an automatic first down. Sean Crable came in there to make the play, and you know, I, the, the only thing I could see after the whistle or after the ball carrier is down is right there. There it is, right yeah. there. There's Just no question. Taylor coming on top of him, but it, it almost looked like they were accusing Sean Crable of yeah. it, but it definitely was 67, Terrence Taylor. And that was a good call. No, I'm at, here it's 10 3, Michigan. Second down and six, and Daryl just throws that one away. And uh, they were running after it because they thought it might have been a lateral, but it was not. It was a forward pass. But on that pass, second down, to just get him slowed down a little bit up front. Sacked again. And rolling in is Rondell Biggs, his second sack of the night. We'll take a look at it in a bit. I mean, it's tough enough if you block the right guy against Michigan, but you have no chance, Kirk, if you just flat turn them loose. As nasty as I have ever seen two football teams during a game go at. And another dagger for Larry Coker. Second down, exactly. And Hart is swallowed on the running play by Ed Johnson. See what they can do against this third down. Fires, diving reception by number 16, Adrian Arrington. You know, I always felt like Chad Henney released the football too low. This offseason, he worked on releasing the ball cart two inches higher. He used to have a lot of balls batted at the line of scrimmage. I think that's really helped him in his release. Okay, Alfred, the only guy that returned with experience, the anchor up front with a big play. Second and ten, the linebacker blitz. Here's Preston, first down for Michigan. Look out when he gets free. 
Close to the 20-yard line as Henny gets it off in the face of pressure. This is this is another example of what Coach Davey just talked about, arm strength. He starts to move to his right, and without even having a chance to step and throw, he throws a dart to Steve Breston. And you see the explosiveness of Steve Breston after he caught that ball. Hard on the run. Still battling his way toward the goal line. They can't bring him down. A powerful 20-yard run for Mike Hart. And you see why this f offense is to so tough to defend. The safety, Anthony Scarado missed the tackle, but Kirk, they are so balanced as a football team on offense. Outstanding vision and balance. That's the reason Michael Hart's one of the better backs in the Big Ten. That play was designed to go outside. Sees the hole, cuts back against the grain for the big game. Here's Hart for an easy touchdown. And folks, let me say it right now. It's not a two-team race for number two in the country. It's a three-team race. This is a powerful Michigan football team. You see Michael Hart, we talked about the more carries he gets, the stronger They're he gets. Getting rid of the football as quickly as he can. The, his favorite target, Derek Williams. And there is Harris jumping in. Hunt, let's check in with Lisa. <laughs> no, it's there. <laughs> Couple of years she played here. Came out of the Philadelphia area. Fumble. Uh, Hunt on the ball, so it doesn't matter. It's still going to be Penn State's football. That was a bad look for me, guys, wasn't it? <laughs> About 25 pounds ago. And uh, now we got another quarterback going off, Daryl Clark. I'll tell you what. If I'm an opponent of Michigan, I'm not sure I show these quarterbacks getting ready to play Michigan's defense this tape because they have put a beating on these two quarterbacks. Yeah, South Carolina, his brother, one of the long snappers on the team, transferred him here. So Cianciolo, and uh, that is almost intercepted by Sean Crable. And the one thing that said uh, Joe doesn't feel stress, Joe creates stress. In other words, he delegates the stress down to the assistants. That's the key for longevity in this profession now. He's had a tough time of it against Michigan. There's only seven schools, I believe, who have a winning record against Joe Paterno through the years. And uh, Michigan now with his eighth straight win. Good screen pass. And Hunt weaves his way. Breaks free. End zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And hold on, everybody. Hold on now. They are one big play away from drawing even in a game in which they were being dominated. That's a 43-yard touchdown. Cianciola to Hunt. We got 318 because Tony Hunt ran to daylight. The final three minutes of drama about to unfold. Now it's second down and 11. Penn State, eight defenders up tight. They knew the running play, and Hart breaks a tackle. You cannot bring him down. The first man just cannot stop number 20. What a big time run. And that's taking a team on your shoulders right there and just saying, I'm going to do it because he did this on his own. Well, he breaks a tackle here. Great toughness. And again, it's the vision, the balance, and the toughness of Michael Hart. It looked like he was going to be down. But he goes right through a couple tacklers and picks up a first down that maybe could ice this game for this Michigan team. And he need to throw for it. Drop. They force a punt, and now they will get a shot. They're out of timeouts. Aggressive. Ryan will punt this time. Williams to take a shot at it. 
And a fine tackle by Charles Stewart. And let's check in with Madigan for an update. Meanwhile, Sianciola. Threw for a touchdown. Short drop and covered. Stayed with it. Came up firing. Intercept. No. Dropped. Jamar Adams had a shot at it and couldn't hang on. That was game over right there, and he let it slip away. This is middle of the, middle of the field, just throwing it up in the air. Second and ten from the gun. Cianciola fires, and it's caught at the 28-yard line. Norwood makes the catch. Trying to slow it up was Ryan Mundy, the safety. Probably Chad Henney all week on the scout yes, team against the defense. Him. Far sideline. <laughs> The receiver, Butler, had to turn into the defensive back that time against Leon Hall. Leon Hall, who has 11 career interceptions, was about to make number 12, and Butler shut down on him. Let's <laughs> like that, folks. <laughs> he just went tackling on that one, baby. Well, yeah, that's offensive pass. I mean, it looks like a defensive back on interference, but that's, that's an offensive not, pass not interference. offensive interference. Uh, that screen to Hunt? That works well. So here's your ball game. Need six to stay alive. No chance. Michigan wins it. No chance. Throw a high percentage pass and let somebody run with the ball. Don't throw the ball down the field. So the Wolverines stay undefeated in Happy Valley, and they run their streak to eight in a row over Joe Pa. Scholarship fund. The final seconds ticking away. Chad Henney, of course, had a great game for Michigan. His numbers, impressive on the road, showing some experience. Anthony Morelli, before he got knocked out, looked like Penn State was getting some momentum going with the play calling, but we're under 20 seconds here. The, the game is over. I just want to hear, as you said, go on record. I want to hear from you guys right now. Who's the number two team in the country? I think, I, oh, I'm sorry, Brent, go ahead, you go Brent. first. Michigan. Michigan. I think Kurt. Ohio State, Michigan, 1A and 1B. There you I'm go. I'm telling you yep. now. There you go. That's November 18th. I have Ohio State, Michigan, 1 and 2. So our final score, 17-10. Michigan stays unbeaten.